Hi children, how are you all? Yes, hope all are doing good. Hope all are fine. Yes, good to know that. Okay children, suppose mm, you want your favorite items like your favorite chocolate or your favorite dress, your favorite toy, you want something like that. How do you express that if you want something? How do you express it? Yes. If you want something, your favorite, your favorite chocolate, your favorite ice cream, your favorite dress, you tell your parents, isn't it? Yes, you express it by telling to your parents. Yes, mama or daddy or papa, I want this, I want that. Yes, so you are, you have a language to tell. You can tell in English, you can tell in your mother tongue, if your mother tongue is Hindi or if your mother tongue is Tamil or Malayalam or Telugu or whatever, Marathi, hmm? you express your feelings or ideas, everything through the language, the language which you know. Isn't it? Yes. Now I am telling you something and you are hearing, isn't it? So I am telling you in a language. So that you, you, are, you can hear and you know that language. That's why I am telling you in English. English is the language which I am speaking now. So you are hearing to it. You are listening to it. You know this language. So the way I, the way, the, the way I teach, I am expressing everything through the language. Yes. So everyone has have our, their own language to express. So language or the... the Something that we express, the ideas, the information, the feelings, the thoughts that we express or sharing our knowledge, our ideas, information with other human beings to others. It is actually called communication. What is it called? It is called communication. Okay, so we are all are communicating through different languages. You know, in earlier days, very uh, long ago, early man, huh? they lived early man and they used to live in caves. Uh, they, those days, no language at all, you know, they used to communicate each other through some sound. They make some sound or through some gestures, we say, huh? gestures. They use some sound or they use some gestures, we say, means some actions. Through some actions, they used to communicate with uh, others. Huh? They, use, they use some actions to communicate with others. Then later, uh, they uh, started drawing some pictures. They started drawing some pictures. Pictures on the cave walls and all. Some symbols, some pictures they used to uh, draw. Some symbols or some pictures they used to draw on the cave walls. Huh? Then they communicate each other uh, like that by using symbols or using pictures. Later, gradually, what happened after the development of language? People started communicating through word of word of mouth means huh? through mouth. They use words and they used to communicate. Then later, Jonas Gutenberg. He invented printing machine. Gutenberg, he invented, he invented printing machine. Printing machine. So printing uh, started and all, some books, some magazines, newspapers, etc. got printed and people started reading that means they started to get knowledge. They gain knowledge by, uh, by using this books, magazines and all. Then gradually language everything developed and now everyone is communicating through different languages. Before you know to communicate someone so far away, very far, uh, people used to send some animals uh, what with some messages. They used to send Pigeons. Pigeons were used earlier, they used as uh, cats. 
carrier to send messages to the people those who are living so far they used to write some um, messages on a small piece of paper and they uh, they put it uh, on the leg of the bird this bird and this bird pigeon carry it fly it and carry to the place they why they choose pigeon means home pigeons they used to choose home pigeons they have the ability to come back home at the same time they have speed also to travel so they travel and they uh, give the message there and they come back to the home so people in earlier days they use pigeons to convey messages to the people those who are living so far away from them they use some other animals like horses and camels also to come uh, send messages but late after that because of the technology when advance or science when it advanced what happened yes people invented many scientific uh, persons or scientists invented many things and people uh, got easy to communicate with uh, people those who are so far away from us so because of that we got lot of communication uh, take uh, otherwise lot of communication take place so there are number of ways by which now we can communicate now it's so easy for us to communicate whoever is staying very far away from us miles away from us within seconds we can see them and talk technology is advanced a lot for us so it become so easy communication became so easy nowadays isn't it but earlier days it was not like that so today let us learn about communications communications our lesson is lesson for today is communications lesson 18 okay lesson 18 communications time to warm up what do this signals indicate yes here you can see different signals using the hands uh, some signals you can see these they indicate a way of expressing they are called sign language so they are called actually sign language the symbols that you can see there different signs you can see there uh, you using uh, the your hand uh, yes they are called actually sign language they are the way of expressing the people those who cannot talk cannot hear they use this sign language to express their ideas their feelings their thought etc uh, so they are called sign language okay time to know communication is the act of expressing or transmitting ideas information knowledge thoughts and feelings as well as understanding what is expressed by others so what is communication children yes communication means the sharing of communication is the sharing of ideas thoughts the feelings expression ah huh? yes so the act of expressing ideas knowledge information it is nothing but communication Mm. then the communication process involves both sending and receiving messages sending and receiving messages are taking place through communication we send message to others it's a communication we receive message from others it is also a communication in the early day earlier days people were using animals for sending mails as i told you right earlier days people used some animals like pigeons birds pigeon the animals like horses and uh, then uh, camels they used to send the messages mostly pigeons were used hence it was named as pigeon post the pigeon is named as pigeon post why because earlier people use pigeon mostly they use pigeons as the, uh, uh, for uh, communicating for communication purpose or for sending messages they people use pigeons more so it is named as it was named as pigeon post pigeons specifically homing pigeons have an excellent sense of direction and can easily find the way yes pigeons especially homing pigeons means pigeons at home uh, yes they have the ability to come back home and they have speed also hmm? 
so people choose pigeons to send messages to someone after composing the message in, in little scraps of paper means little bits of paper that is paper that is left over small bits of paper there they write the message and they tied and attach this to the bird's leg they attach the tie to the bird's leg pigeon's leg you can see the image here huh? bird pigeon and on its leg you can see the message that tied up hmm? up to this present time pigeons post continue to be useful in the most remote places where electricity and internet are unavailable where electricity not the or internet not the those remote places means places that are very far away from uh, us or uh, rural areas uh, uh, areas in village areas we say far away places from us uh, those places uh, pigeon post uh, continue to be useful this method was also used in the military and navy to convey orders from one post to another this method they even used in military and navy we have three military forces in india uh, army navy air force so military also they use pigeon home pigeons to send message from one place to another there are number of ways by which communication can take place for example we can communicate through gestures gestures means what actions isn't it actions we can the number of ways by which communication can take place one method is gestures by actions sounds through some sounds by making some sound we can communicate signals by using some signals we can communicate then speech we speak to others to communicate then writing is another way of communication we write and send messages to others then printing printing we print books magazines newspapers that is also a means of communication then photographs we take photographs isn't it that is also a means of communication photographs then telephone uh, telephone through telephone we talk with others Huh? Yes, telephone is a means of communication. Then radio, yes, radio. Then film, film is a, another way of communication. Film. Then telegraph, telegraph is another way of communication where we used to send urgent messages. Television, television is another way of communication. Television. then computer yes nowadays without computer nothing is possible isn't it everyone is using here and the uh, we are using computer the fastest way of communication it is yes so these are the ways by which we can communicate uh, gestures sounds signals speech writing printing photographs telephone radio film telegraph television computer in the present day world communication has become very fast and easy nowadays communication is very fast and easy for us isn't it the persons those who are people those who are staying miles away from us we can easily communicate uh, through our mobile phone by seeing them and we can communicate technology is advanced that much isn't it communication has become so easy nowadays the most commonly used means of communication are first one postal communication postal communication means through letters through parcels through cards uh, through postcards inland letters speed post etc that is postal communication second is telecommunication telecommunication means through radio telephone computer etc then third one is mass communication through newspapers television radio etc so we are going to learn about these communication means of commonly used means of communication one by one and the first is postal communication okay postal communication postal communications are a method of connecting with people all over the world through letter writing and parcel delivery yes by writing letters and by sending parcels and all we can communicate with other people through postal communications 
Although letter writing is a dying art due to the popularity of instant electronic communication such as email and social networking media, postal communication still serve an integral role in the in-world communication. Nowadays postal communication we cannot see that much, not that much popular because of the modern means of communication, email. Huh? because of the social networking media, so we have Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram like that. Uh, social networking media is advanced a lot because of that. Postal communication is not uh, that much popular nowadays. Postal communications are a form of connecting to distant relatives. Before when postal communication was there that time, uh, the persons those who are living very far, relatives, our relatives that living so far we used to communicate them through letters hmm? then uh, the friends those who are away from us colleagues or organization we are letter writing or parcel delivery other organization to convey the message to them to other institutions and or official purpose and for our uh, uh, relatives cousins friends colleagues those who work along with us to them to send some messages and or we used to write letters to them Sending information along in the form of letter was much cheaper than connecting long distance through a telegraph or telephone in the early to mid 20th century. Yes, it was one of the cheapest means of communication. It doesn't cost too much. We can easily write a letter, we can send. It doesn't cost also. So, compared to telegraph and telephone, telegraph to some uh, for some urgent messages, we people use telegraph, someone death to message someone's death and all mm? uh, they used to uh, send through telegraph and telephone also it, uh, it is not that cheaper but postal communication was very uh, really cheaper uh, means of communication compared to telegraph and telephone in the earliest century or midst to 20th first 20th century 20th century postal service was a relatively quick reliable and affordable method of communication it was quick way of communication it, even if it takes two three days and also it was so trust uh, reliable loyal and also affordable affordable it's so cheap yes so postal communication those days it was one of the popular means of communication people used to send uh, letters parcels uh, well, to send uh, messages to the people those who are living far away from them relatives cousins friends uh, yes for those purpose we use to send messages to them we use postal communication it was so cheap that now compared to the email because of the modern system of uh, communications like email and social networking media advanced a lot now the postal service has become a little down means we are not using people are not using that much yes an inland letter. What is inland letter? You can see the image the inland letter. Yes, here inland letter is the a letter card means a sheet of paper ordinarily used for letter writing suitably folded and gummed. It's a letter actually. We used to write letter in this. It's an inland letter. It's a sheet of paper actually and uh, has a folder you can see the upper part we can fold it and last after writing the letter we have to gum it it has a reasonable price not that price also uh, very cheap no enclosures are allowed with it we cannot uh, keep anything inside it or any no need to put it inside a cover or something like that uh, it has a wide publicity and free air transmission. It has a wide publicity. Those days uh, when we use inland letters, uh, there was people all over use this inland letters to send messages, to write letters and all. It's, it was so cheap and not that much cost also. And these letters are sent uh, by land, air and water also. Means land transport, air transport and water transport. We used to send the letters if it is very urgent speed post and or speedy delivery we used to send by air air transport postcard is a cheaper mode of communication uh, postcard is another one you can see the image here it is postcard and it is a cheaper mode of communication it has free air transmission we can transmit or we can send this postcard 
uh, through air transport well, it has free air transmission it costs 50 paisa per car very cheap no 50 paisa per car it is only 50 paisa speed post speed post is a trade name or brand name for a high speed postal service provided by several postal companies around the world it's speed post or is a trade name or it's a branded name we can say speed post and uh, name for a high speed postal service high speed postal service to send something very urgent to reach it in within uh, within I mean with very few minutes or I mean hours and all letters postal card it will take two three days right but speed post means it will del uh, we can del uh, or it will deliver the very fast that's why it is called speed post a high speed postal service is it is to send something so urgent it has to deliver there so early then for that purpose uh, so, uh, they use speed post to deliver so fast it's a high speed postal service we say yes so that's about postal communication so it this the actually this was uh, this the method of con connecting people all over the world M early days people all over the world they used to this postal communication to send letters messages to far away relatives cousins friends colleagues and they had only this method of communication to writing letters inland letter they use postcard they used to write letters to send messages to uh, send urgent messages and all it was so cheap also it's very affordable reliable huh? and it's so quick service yes but uh, yes because of email and social networking media this has become a little uh, a dying art means it's become a failure but nowadays also people are using here and the letters writing and sending and all very rarely and speed post you know it is high speed postal service to deliver or to send the message very fast we use this high speed post service yes that's about postal communication okay